हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सोनिया आईएएस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू आर सेकंड टॉपिक इन आर्ट एंड कल्चर एंड दैट इज प्लेसेस इन न्यूज एंड दिस आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन टू पार्ट्स सो फर्स्ट पार्ट इज हियर एंड सेकंड पार्ट वी विल बी गोइंग टू डू टुमारो again i am repeating the same thing that if you guys have not covered the static part of art and culture because many people found it very difficult to compile all the sources so sunya prelims crash course is the one stop solution and you can uh, supplement the video lectures with the sunya static book fine now when we are done with the static part we have to supplement it with the current part because most of the times questions come from the current aspects of art and culture so the first place which is in news is votive stoop now what is stoop stoop is the place where relics of buddhist monks is kept or buried fine now why it is in news first we'll read that patna circle of asi archaeological survey of india has discovered two 1200 year old miniature votive stoop during the landscaping activities near sarai tilla mount on the premises of nalanda mahavihar a world heritage site in nalanda district so firstly stoop we know now what are votive stoop votive stoop are the miniature stoop they are the miniature stoop as we can see over here also these are the mini stoop where image of the buddha is kept here and buddha has a stylized crown okay buddha is wearing a stylized crown that means it shows the royalty of the buddha and this is located in bihar fine this much you are supposed to know because itne se bhi you will be able to eliminate the options don't do the phd in every topic otherwise you will end up wasting your time next place that is in news is charaidio maidans now what are these we'll study it later first of all we'll see why it is in news The center has decided to nominate Assam's Charaidio Maidans for UNESCO's World Heritage Site. That's why it is in news. Now, what is Charaidio? These are the burial places, or you can say the capital of the Ahom Dynasty. whose founder was chaolung sukpa fine it has been protected by archaeological survey of india and state archaeological department it is the burial ground of ahoms kings and queens like we have pyramids in egyptian culture plus it is also the place of ancestral gods of the ahoms fine so it is an equivalent to ancient egyptian pyramids and this is the founder clear next anubhav mantap if you can correlate means this uh, trick you have to apply when you see any new term in the question paper mantap you can correlate it with mandap theek hai mandap means a place where some sort of discussion happens so with this you can say that this was the place of discussion discussion of philosophy ideology right so you can say that it was the earliest parliament in the history now let's see why it is in news karnataka government decided to construct anubhav mandap chief minister basavaraj bomai so anubhav mandap is the earliest parliament whose prime minister was basava and president was prabhu dev <coughs> okay now basava was a philosopher was a religious reformer fine and the only difference between the between that parliament and the present parliament is that the earlier parliament was the 
nominated one while the present one is where the election take place where the elected leaders come so the character the personality associated with this is lord basaveshwara you should remember this clear it is located in karnataka next is paigatom as the name suggest so paigatom are constructed for the paiga family this was a noble family okay and this family was founded by abdul fateh khan teg jang who was he was the person who served the asaf jaha to second nizam of hyderabad so now why it is in news us fund to help restore paiga tombs in hyderabad that's why you should know that these are located in hyderabad in the pisal banda suburbs of hyderabad you can see the image also it shows the royalty of that time of that family next era matti dibalu see supposingly you have got this term in the paper and you don't know ki what is this we have not heard of it now with the name itself you can correlate matti matti mitti means sand it is somehow related to sand so this is how you have to reach your correct option you have to use your brain so here it is era matti dibalu this is actually the rare sand okay so now why it is in news recently citizens have joined hands to preserve the geo geological marvel of era matti dibalu in visakhapatnam so if we'll see that these are the red sands which are very unique and these are found only at three places two in india and one in sri lanka so one is in vaizag andhra pradesh and the other one is in Tel tamil nadu so these are the three places where this era matti dibalu is found and now citizens have joined to preserve it because otherwise the geological site will be lost next is kumbalgarh fort naam se hi pata chal raha hai fort kila raja shahi so it is found in rajasthan now the question comes why it is in news Ranakpur and Pali and Kumbalgarh fort in Rajasthan will partly host G20 leaders on the concluding day of first Sherpa meet fine so it is located in Udaipur it surrounds the basically the city of Udaipur <coughs> it is the second largest wall of the world after great wall of china so it is also known as great wall of india and it is the place where maharana pratap was born it was constructed by rana kumbha clear next ratnagiri's prehistoric rock art now the question comes what is rock art why it is in news so now there are concerns about the location of the mega oil refinery in maharashtra's ratnagiri district so an oil refin ri refinery has been proposed in this area where this petroglyph is present fine because this project will damage the prehistoric geoglyph that are present in the region so first of all what are geoglyph also known as katal shilp these are the drawings of animals or plants or humans anyone the drawing which are created by engraving engraving on the hard surface 
किसी सरफेस को खोद खोद के कोई ड्राइंग बनाई जाए कोई इमेज बनाया जाए दैट इज नोन एज जियोग्लिफ इट हैज बीन इंक्लूडेड इन यूनेस्को टेंटेटिव वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट लिस्ट दिस प्लेस हैज बीन अ सेंटर ऑफ कंटिन्यूस हैबिटेशन From times immemorial, clear. Next is Vadnagar town, Gujarat. So we are going to see the new sites which are added in the UNESCO's tentative list. Fine. So what is tentative list? First of all, tentative list, or you can say it is the inventory of sites. Inventory of sites which the countries have proposed that you have to uh, th that these should be included. in the world heritage site tag so from india there are 52 sites so vadnagar why it is in use two sites in gujarat have made it to the tentative list of unesco's world heritage site one is vadnagar other one is the sun temple of modhera which we have studied multiple multiple times right so vadnagar it is an l shaped town with sharmishtha lake factual part you should know <coughs> it is multi layered multicultural mercantile settlement another thing for which it is famous is it is the hometown of our prime minister narendra modi but this is not the reason the why this town has got the world heritage site list yeah it has been included in the tentative list it consists of historical two trade routes hinterland port you'll also find the industry developing over here so the town the significance of the town is much more next is sun temple modhera okay so it was given patronage by solanki dynasty it is built in maru gurjara architectural style you can find that the miniature temples have been created on the stairs the same way the big temple is created the miniature versions are created on the stairs and here you will find actually uh, solanki dynasty uh, yeah you can say solanki style is the sub style of the nagar style and the feature of the nagar style is, th is that it does not have water tank water tank nahi hota hai yahan pe but here is the exception you will find the step tank over here step well or you can ca call kund you will find a kund over here here river pushpavati flows and you will find the three life size images of the deity who are those deity three life size image of deity who are those deity aditya lokpal and devis fine Next is rock cut sculptures and reliefs of Una Koti. What do you mean by Una Koti? One less than one less than crore. And why they are in news? Because they are also added to the tentative list. The sculptures present over here. It is related to Shaivite tradition. and it is also the place where ashoka ashtami mela is celebrated so you can see over here it is also known as angkor wat of the northeast because it is located in tripura next is tel asaf now why it is in news very minor thing you don't have to memorize each and every line right so a new archaeological finding from tel asaf of israel so that means it is located in Israel it shows the presence of cotton fibers originating from in this valley so that means people at that time had the knowledge of cotton fibers and they have some relation with the they have trade relations with Israel clear next is golconda fort so golconda fort uh, so we are going to start with kutub shahi architecture the architecture which was created in hyderabad 
द कैपिटल ऑफ तेलंगाना ठीक है सो वॉट इज द रेलिवेंस ऑफ गोलकोंडा फोर्ट गोलकोंडा फोर्ट इज द प्लेस वेयर छत्रपति शिवाजी हैड गॉन टू हैव अ मिलिट्री अलायंस विद कुतुब शाही रूलर अबुल हसन ताना शाह वाई फॉर वॉट वॉट वॉज द पर्पज फॉर द मिलिट्री अलायंस टू फाइट अगेंस्ट औरंगजेब क्लियर सो इट इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स ब्लेंड ऑफ पर्शियन पठान एंड हिंदू आर्किटेक्चरल स्टाइल नेक्स्ट इज कुतुम शाही टोम देर आर मोर देन थर्टी टोम्स प्रेजेंट ओवर हेयर बट देर आर सेवन मेजर टोम्स नाउ हैदराबाद वॉन्टेड टू गेट अ जियो वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज टैग इन दैट द फर्स्ट स्टेप टेकन या फर्स्ट विक्ट्री दैट हैदराबाद गॉट इज द स्टेप वेल्स इन कुतुब शाही नेक्रोपोलिस got an award of distinction in asia pacific awards for cultural heritage conservation at bangkok so you can say this is the first step in the getting the recognition it has been constructed with gray granite embellished with stucco ornamentation you can find that it is constructed on the raised platform square base is there with pointed arches fine given patronage by the shahi dynasty next is char minar so char minar is basically the ceremonial gateway which was created to celebrate the foundation of the city of hyderabad theek hai it has been dropped from the tentative list tentative list se ise hata diya gaya hai what is the reason because of the encroachment happening in this area and why it is in news pehla reason to ye hai it has been dropped from the tentative list the other reason is rahul gandhi unfurls national flag at char minar when he was doing the भारत जोड़ो यात्रा इट इज लोकेटेड अलॉन्ग द बैंक्स ऑफ रिवर मूसी हेयर यू विल फाइंड द इंडो सारसेनिक स्टाइल ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज आर्क डी ट्रायम्फ ऑफ द ईस्ट एंड इट वॉज गिवन पेटरेंज और यू कैन से बिल्ट बाय मोहम्मद कोली कुतुब शाह फाइन नेक्स्ट वन चार कमान चार कमान मीन्स देर आर फोर कमांड्स इन फोर डायरेक्शन north south east west if we'll talk about north command so this is machli command fish then we'll talk about the south command so we have char minar arch then we are talking about east so we have kali command black arch then on the west we have sher dil arch so these are the four arches which constitute the char command next is mecca masjid so there are two categories of uh, mosque one is the great mosque called jami another one is the smaller mosque that is known as masjid now why it is in news because telangana minority welfare department has introduced a uniform dress code for all the staff members of the mecca masjid and the shahi masjid so basically they will be having a uniform dress code from now onwards but that is not our point of concern <coughs> you should know the speciality of this area of this mosque of this masjid there is a large rectangular court that is known as sahan that is the technical term and here there it is surrounded by arcades called rivak supported on a flat roof called sakhv along with the arches known as tak now these the, the whole structure roof arches everything will be supported either on the columns amud made up of stone hadjar or the pillars rukan made up of brick lib okay so this is about mecca masjid next is daru ul shifa 
Daru Ul Shifa is also known as House of Health. <coughs> Actually, earlier it was a hospital where free treatment was given to the people. Then it became House of Health and it is built in Tugra style on the western wall. And you will find beautiful uh, floral uh, designs over there because we know that in Muslims they cannot draw the people's uh, you can say idol worship is not there you cannot draw the ruler or any god is there so that's why they used to beautify the things by either by calligraphy or by floral design or by geometrical patterns so that completes our part one of places and news see you in the next part thank you